show you this. All right. In fact, you might want to focus in on, you see this resistor right here? Uh -huh. Was a resistor I put in series with the output of the Wawa, so if he plugged it into a normal fuzz face that didn't have any modifications, it wouldn't cause it to freak out. So I first started doing that because he's always buying new fuzz faces, and of course, they would freak out if you would turn the wah on, and and you can hear it in some, when Jimmy first tried the f the fuzz and the wah together, it turned into a squealing freak out that he couldn't <coughs> control. Anyway, this is the result of that, of putting a resistor in there to make sure that that couldn't happen. Yeah. I'm going to show you something underneath. This is the reason that it starts off darker. It's this little capacitor added across this O1, which is the normal capacitor. So if you put those two together and a 530 millihenry coil, you get the sound of this pedal. Now there's one other thing I want to show you here. I'll hold it up. There is a DW stamped into the into the aluminum there. Uh -huh. It's faint, but you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. Anyway, that was my way of putting my little mark on it too. You know. Oh in, yeah. In case you know it showed up somewhere and it's all the same and it's got Jimmy's signature on it and you open it up and that isn't there. Yeah. It's not that pedal. That's right. So yeah. I'm not sure how public you want to make that but I just... So you would hammer that in with a with just a font... Uh, yeah. You know those metal stampers? Yeah the metal stamper and, and yeah. Yeah it's funny we were talking about that at dinner with the how to mark your own things, you know, don't necessarily make it too obvious. No, in fact, you want it to be as inobvious as possible, to you, but you want to be able to recognize it. You want to be able to recognize it. And it might just look like a mar or something on the, you know, on the aluminum there, but it's actually uh, my little DW 